Hi, this is the uh, first test of the RG Pilot Mega uh, Mavlink integration, and this is going to bring uh, Q ground control online with RG Pilot Mega. Um, you can see the code here basically defines all of the different parameters that you can send to the RG Pilot. All right, we're going to go ahead and launch Q ground control. See right now I've got the USB plugged in, um, powering the board. I also have the telemetry uh, directly wired through an FTDI cable. So this would be simulating the wireless uplink. Uh, right now it's in the hardware in the loop mode. So when you boot the board up to get it into hardware in the loop mode um, with everything working and the uh, sensor is actually outputting data, you're first going to slide uh, the switch to uh, 1 to get out of the log mode in the setup. And after it resets, then go ahead and slide the switch back to 0. And that flips the RMUs on. So now back in uh, Q ground control, we're going to set up a new link. Uh, we're going to set this to 115, 200 baud rate, which is the default for RG Power Mega. And we're going to set the serial port to USB 1. Okay. All right. Now, after you do this, you can see that we already have the uh, data flowing to the ground station. Uh, close this out. You can go ahead and flip the Nomad link, so it's not going to show you the messages. And you can see any extra messages that are coming through here. All right. Now you can see that I've got the uh, radio hooked up. And I'll go ahead and click my. Uh, transmitter on. You can see that I can control, if I'm in manual mode, I can control the uh, servos and it's actually displaying that. It also has a neat little uh, configure window uh, to help you do your trimming. So I'm going to switch to auto and you can actually see the autopilot take over and uh, start flying the aircraft. Now they've got some uh, pretty cool stuff going on in Q ground, ground control. Uh, you can do all the data plotting. Here's the actual raw acceleration uh, values. I've only got this coming out at about a three, 3 hertz right now, but uh, we can definitely speed that up. Um, the IMU I've got coming out at uh, 50 hertz, so you can see these are pretty smooth lines. Now this is actually, uh, you can see the drift in the yaw because I didn't do an initial calibration, but if I take that one off, <clears throat> you can see as I move the board, those curves are directly, you know, plotting in real time, which will be really helpful for debugging. And then also being able to see the raw sensor values for like the gyros and all that stuff should be very helpful. Um, now, if you go down here, you can actually enable roll pitch yaw speed. And you can see as I move the board that the uh, gyros are reacting. Okay, so now I'm going to show the uh, 3D view. And currently, we're working on integrating the 3D view from Drone GCS into Q Ground Control. Um, you can see the 3D view is using Ogre right now. Uh, we're going to try to start doing some open scene graph in OSG Earth. But you can see that as I move the uh, RG Pilot, that the quad rudder on the screen is actually displaying correctly. So all the data is flowing correctly to the ground station. Now if we go back, uh, switch views back to the engineer's view, um, you can look at the different parameters on the board. Now initially it's not going to have anything here. So what you're going to do is hit the uh, refresh button. That's going to load all the parameters for the component that you have. And you can see right here I've got the PID, uh, different PID gains. Uh, so I can go into Yada Servo PID and then set the PI and D gain. And as soon as I set it, um, you'll notice that it changes color to, to tell me it's green. It hasn't been sent to the uh, UAV. So I'm going to go ahead and hit transmit, and then that sends it out. Uh, so that's all working. Um, so the only thing that we have to do now is get the waypoints online, and we should have a fully functional ground station for the RG Pilot Mega.